All right, guys, I'm gonna walk you through my process of how I get B-roll of products. I'm gonna get three types of shots. Gonna be looking to get a wide shot, shot of the product, a medium shot, and then a close-up of some of the details of the products. The lighting setup here, I got the Cobalt CF60 here. And then I got to aim down on this white piece of paper here. And then I've got another light right here also, which is the WP35 from We Light. And they're both set to 5600 Kelvin. So I'm getting daylight balance because there is a window there. So I want to make sure that I'm matching the same lights here. You can also see here 5600. So this is basically my two light setup. Here I've got my Shark Nano Slider with the Canon EOS M on top, shooting everything here in 10-bit RAW using the uh, Magic Lantern. I do not own one of those fancy lighting domes. I would like to, but for me, I just use this parchment paper here to diffuse the light and gets a nice, soft, even light. First shot here on the slider is just going to slide forward and basically slide up to the logo and then we'll get the logo in focus there. So here we go. Three, two, one. That is going to be the shot basically. Various shots just kind of showing some of the features. In this example here we got the vents on the top. So I'll basically do a little slide on the top here just to kind of show what's going on there cooling system so I'll go ahead and just do some slides and stuff like that on all the features of the light and just go around and anything I think is interesting try to grab it and the way I like to set up slider shots is basically I like to set it in the final position that it's going to be in, set the focus, get everything in framed up the way I want it to, and then I'll go to a back position, a starting position if I hear here. This will be the starting position. And the starting position really doesn't matter too much because I want to get to my final position. And then once I hit action and let it go roll into my, into my final position, typically on the iFootage slider, I set it for 20 seconds to do the movement so it's nice and smooth and then I can speed it up and post uh, and if I want it to move faster or something like that. So, and I typically like to try to get some stuff in the foreground and in the background. You can clearly see here, I got the corner of the light just here in the foreground, like right there, just to get a little bit of depth of field. And then something here and typically in the background. 